Welcome back to the series, everyone. We're jumping into that TFGO offseason where we fix regression, we have fifth year options, all that stuff exclusive to this league. We're kicking it off with a trade. We made a trade for Josh Gordon. Get him out to the Patriots just like they did in real life. Had to give up a little bit more because obviously he's really good in this game and he doesn't have real life issues in this game where he could fail a drug test or stuff like that. Um, getting into re-signing our players, we're letting a lot of these guys go. We do re-sign Alan Lazard and Mac Hollins, two young receivers we picked up off of practice squads last season. Um, we let some other players go. We did not re-sign Will Ty. We tried to re-sign Adrian Waddle for some tackle death, but he wanted to test free agency. Good for him. Uh, we re-signed Cam Correa uh, to be that middle linebacker for us. Kendall Donerson, another linebacker we are bringing back. Jason McCourty will go to free agency, and then we're heading to the draft. We traded our first round pick uh, to the future because we wanted to uh, prepare for Tom Brady's retirement. He did stay on another season, so we will have him this season. But with our first pick in this draft in the second round, we pick Dexter Lawrence, defensive tackle out of Clemson, big, fat run stopper. We like that one, 75 overall, quick development, really strong. Uh, our next pick is going to be into the fourth round. We traded down and accumulated more draft picks. We're going to take Porter Gustin out of USC, the edge uh, defender. Kind of try to mold him into the next coming of Dante Hightower. He's got a similar build, a little bit taller, but uh, very strong. Not a, not a great athlete as far as speed goes, but he's a... Uh, smart player and he can play right away with those uh, attributes and that awareness and after that um, we had another pick in the fourth round um, as you can see Will Greer is still available we were considering him but we didn't want to we wanted to uh, pick some players that could help us more immediately um, with Brady still there so we went with Terrell Lewis another edge rusher out of Alabama this time uh, very athletic, uh, quick development, 69 overall. He's got decent finesse moves. Good potential there, and hopefully he can bring some pass rush to us. So moving through the draft, we made a bunch of moves in this draft to accumulate more picks, up, moving up and down. Our next pick came in the fifth round, and we ended up taking uh, safety out of Mississippi State, Mark McLaurin. Um, he's a very good athlete, 6'2", good size. Quick development. Uh, his cover skills aren't great. Maybe we can develop those. But uh, good uh, young player to bring behind and develop behind our veteran safeties. Next pick was in the fifth round as well, and we're taking a center in Jared Whaler. Uh, he's got pretty good pass uh, block skills there. Um, so some good depth for our team in the fifth round. And then another offensive lineman in Max Sharping. Uh, normal development, but for a 7th round pick, that's some really good pass blocking stats. 76, 88 strength. And then the final pick in the draft for us is going to be Jalen Young, a free safety, 90 speed, 74 zone, 68 overall. So that late in the draft, that's a really good pick. A young uh, athletic safety who can you know, play deep in a heartbeat. He reminds me a bit of Deron Harmon, the way Patriots use him. So good depth there. So recapping the draft, Lawrence Gustin. Gustin was actually third rounder, not fourth. We traded up to get him. Uh, Terrell Lewis, Mark McLaurin, Jared Wheeler, and Max Sharping, and Jalen Young. Pretty good draft class. A lot of young uh, players with potential and players that fit what we want to do. So with that being said, that's the draft recap. I know it was really quick, but we will be bringing you more content soon with more recaps and stuff to get us all caught up. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you later.